Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the lockboxes for Kennedy Town, where we grab all 15 of them for sleeping dogs. All right, so as always, we'll just start on one of the corners and kind of zigzag our ways back and forth and head down south as we go. Uh, we'll start off on the northwest corner up at the pier, or the docks, whichever you want to call it. And we will take out these baddies and grab the first of 15. There is a trophy for grabbing both Kennedy and Aberdeen's uh, lockboxes combined. And we will be working on that, and it's called the West Side Scavenger. So uh, we will be accomplishing that here. The last two uh, lockbox videos have yielded us trophies slash achievements, depending on your platform of choice. And uh, unfortunately, this one will not earn you one at the end, but it will get you to the halfway point. And of course, we will be providing the last of the lockbox series video coming shortly too. So look for the Aberdeen lockbox video after this one if you've been following along. All right, one down on our way to two. So this one's not far from the first one, as you can tell, because whenever it's close enough that uh, we feel necessary, we will leave off and run right from one to the next. This particular one is, you know, about 100 meters away, and it uh, requires you to climb up a little bit. So we will do a little bit more climbing than we need, I think. But then again, it's hard to remember. Wah, wah. All right, so we'll go ahead and jump up here and climb your way up to the top. And guess what's at the very tippy tippy? All right, number two. Any guesses if it's locked or not? Still got a chance to guess. We'll give you one more shot on the map here since we didn't really give you one to begin with. And it's locked. Man, these crack of safes are just... I don't know. Sometimes I think they're on crack. It should be the safe on crack instead of a crack of safe. These things just are so touchy sometimes. And it makes me look like an idiot. Do -do -do. Good thing you guys don't have to display all your actions to everybody, right? <laughs> Hopefully you guys didn't have any troubles with those. Every once in a while, I seem to have a controller malfunction is what I was labeling it. Sure wasn't user error, you know what I'm saying? So, here we are still over in the docks. And we will take a quick peep at the map because we have no idea where the hell we are. No, I'm just kidding. We know where we are. We're just showing you guys what's up. So you're going to want to go ahead and follow to that point and climb up on these boxes because the lockbox is actually on the other side. You'll do a heroic jump from one box to another. Climb up to the top and reap your reward. Yeah, buddy. One more peep at the map just to kind of show you the uh, finish. We showed you the start. Now we'll show you the finish. And we'll grab that lockbox with that extra garb in it. Woot. Gotta love a box full of swag. All right, so this is one of the underground ones. I've, I've had a few viewers uh, make comments that you can't find a specific security cam or lockbox, and you know it's hard for me to know which one you're missing. However, there are a couple tricky ones that I will recommend, and this happens to be one of them. There are uh, what two or three underground tunnels? I believe there's just two. There might be three. And they look basically exactly the same. They come in with this L shape, and they open up, and then they have the same. I mean, it's exactly the same. They're just two or three of them spread out throughout the map. So there you can see we are, in fact, on those markers there, but we are underground. And we will go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Cha-cha, 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 cha-cha. And uh, when we do so, uh, well, when we get done doing so, we will go ahead and collect the box. We give a peek at the old... Spy cam too, just for those of you. I mean, you might as well grab that while you're down here too. We don't show us grabbing it in this particular video, but uh, that is definitely something you're gonna want to do. God, look at me just putting in work with that knife. Oh, you want some of this too, buddy? Yeah, they're bringing in all their friends. So a couple of these underground ones are, uh, you know, fairly tough. I recommend that you have a fair amount of the health shrines found, if not all of them, and that you've actually found a few of the jade statues too. Those extra moves and combos that you learn through those jade statues are absolutely critical in a few of these fight scenes. So there's the spy box. I won't do it because that's not what we're here for. 
we'll go ahead and uh, get this safe on crack opened. You know? And, and all right, sped that up a little bit too. I get tired of watching that shit. So open that up. And now we can move on to number five. Look at that. That was 20K. That's a decent one. Decent. You guys watch Trailer Park Boys? Show's awesome. It's not on anymore, but it's on Netflix. Highly recommend it. Bubbles makes the show. In the last season, the character gets this catchphrase, and it's decent. You just got to see it. If you know what I'm talking about, I bet you're laughing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you at least go to the last season of it and watch a couple episodes. It is something else. Dude, this guy is something else. Leave me the hell alone. Quit grabbing me, dude. I don't want to be your boyfriend. Just leave me alone. Come on. I got things to do. And it ain't you, sir. So button up that shirt and take a nap. Because I'm done with your ass. Alright. Some more garb. Gotta love it. Eh, 5K. I guess it's worth the guy with the, the unbuttoned shirt. All right, so this is a tricky one. It kind of hides behind the Kennedy Town text. If you're not one that scrolls in and out on the map, then uh, that may be kind of a hard one to find, even if you do have the cheat. Um, yeah, buddy. All right, should have sped this one up, too. I am happy to say that, uh, you know, we're through the majority of these lockboxes, which means there's only a handful of these safes left. Like I've said before, they are definitely a cool feature to add to the game, but I found that there just seemed to be a little too many of them. That one seemed worth it, though. $20,000 in-game, that's, that's redeemable, I suppose. All right, next lockbox. We're going to go ahead and start off right where we were, and we're just going to run through a few people's backyards. Hopefully you don't step in any of their animal droppings. And once you get past uh, the yard, you're going to run all the way through, and you, will, you won't you will be able to miss it. There's a group of baddies sitting there, and they're all tough guys with uh, wife beaters on. They're colored wife beaters. I don't even know if those would be considered wife beaters. They're more of like, uh, you know, T-shirts gone wrong or something. I don't know. Anybody, I know we had at least one of our viewers lives in Hong Kong and actually uh, even specified that they lived in North Point, which I wasn't really aware that that was a real spot. I'm not really aware of Hong Kong and its, and its areas. But if that is still the case and you're watching this, do people dress like that? Are there a lot of, like, mohawks and, like, ripped T-shirts into, like, you know, gun show shirts? I mean, that's what I always thought they were, gun show shirts. You know what I'm saying? You can't see me right now, but I'm totally, like... Flexing for the gun show. All right. Moving along. 8 of 15. Here we go. We are very close again, which is why we are just continuing. All right. We're on the wrong side of the wall here. We got to run the other side. We got to run to the other side. Just follow the enemies on your map. Uh, they will definitely show you the way if you don't have the cheat. Most of the enemies, uh, well, all of the enemies on the map have a lockbox that they're protecting, but not all lockboxes have enemies, so. Got that dim suck or dim puck or whatever it is, that retaliation, fucking cha 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 cha. That thing's awesome. I kind of abuse that. You see that a lot in a lot of my fighting. It's good, though. It's good to use. All right, so one last peek at the lockbox location there, and god damn it. Just when you think you're in the clear, they throw another one of these damn saves. All right, that one was faster. And it might have had something to do with the fact that I sped it up. It might have just been because I was just really speedy with it. Either way, we both win. 2100 bucks. What a fucking ripoff. I don't like that. I, uh, 2100 bucks isn't hardly worth my time. All right, so here we are over in front of the apartments. Uh, you've been here once for a mission, uh, if you've played the game far enough. And I apologize for having an extreme brain fart, but I just kind of wanted to show you at the same time that you can't get in this building any other way than through the building. So originally in the mission uh, that unlocks this area, you call somebody up on the little intercom system there by the doors. Now that we've completed that mission, though, we actually have access to run through the doors without calling anybody. So 
Once you get in there, you're going to hop a fence or two like you saw, and then you're going to want to bust a right. I kind of explored to the left there for a second. Don't ask me why. A uh, little bit of a brain fart there. So I did speed this up. As you can tell, my legs are moving a little faster than normal. And once we get to the top, well, sort of the top, about halfway up, we're going to hang out by this guard shack here and go around the side of it and grab this lockbox, which thankfully was not another safe that needed cracking. All right, so moving along to number 10. I apologize, we did not get a before shot with the enemies. Uh, but once we fight off the baddies, well, you could probably even avoid the baddies, really, and make your way down here. But here's the lockbox location specifically. There should be some enemies on your map that'll help give away its position. Uh, and again, basically, for whatever reason, we captured it from the health shrine over to here, and we made a mistake in our capturing, so my bad. My bad. Regardless, we still showed you the map. We still showed you the unopened lockbox, so all should still be well. Here's another picture of the next one, and this one is a safe in need of cracking. And I did not speed this one up, which tells me that I got it first try. Maybe. We'll see. What do you guys think? First try? No! Fail! So regardless, we're almost done with this stinking town. The old Kennedy town. And then we'll be moving along to Aberdeen. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, we got 11 of them. Oh, yeah. All right. Here's a spy cam next to a lockbox, which is usually a good indication that it is underground. And sure enough, it is. So you're going to definitely want to, you know, find your way to dive into the water or maybe even grab a boat. Now, you can see where I am here. It is very important on this one that you bring your ass a gun. If you don't, this is gonna be very frustrating because most of these guys, if not all of them, have weapons and they are shooting at you. So if you go in there and try to just jump on them and beat them, it's not probably gonna go in your favor. Look, I'm not saying you suck, but I'll just put it this way. This was like my third or fourth attempt and I finally got smart and got a gun. So there are a couple ways you can get guns. One is getting lucky in a lockbox. Two is completing some of the missions. Um, some of them you can even do in replay. You just got to go to the social hub once you pull up your cell phone and you can redo those. And often you will get a gun and some of those more, you know, extravagant missions. Another way is is if you've used all your uh, police. I know it's triad unlocks. I believe it is. You can actually use a key to unlock the police trunks, and you can get shotguns and stuff from from the, the police car. So. Definitely helpful tools to know, and like I said, you're going to want a gun for that little area there. Best best thing to do, too, is if you're kind of lost and you can't find a gun, is just continue to play the game, and as soon as you complete a mission that gives you a gun, then head there, even if you're on the other side of the world. Which, speaking of, has any of you take, have any of you taken a taxi? Because, like, I finally took a taxi after I beat the game, and, boy, I was a little disappointed I didn't take one earlier. Although it's easy to get a car and to drive wherever you want, you pay this guy in a taxi, and he'll, like, warp you pretty much to any icon on the map in, like, seconds instead of driving, which sometimes takes minutes, so. Just another little piece of advice that I learned along the way that may provide to be helpful for you guys before you finish. I am currently, uh, as of this video, I am two trophies away from Platinum. So hopefully, actually, no, I take that back, three trophies. I need the 30 golds, 30 silvers, and I need the level 10 triad. So I'm almost there on the level 10 triad. The other ones I'm fairly close at. I've already obviously got the halfway point at 15s, but um, don't really know specifics after that. All that information can be found and tracked in your social hub as well. So um, if you guys are wondering how the hell you track all that or how many, where the gold and the silver ratings come from, it's all in your social hub. So, uh, just kind of a way for the game to track your progress and get you, uh, compared to your friends. All right. We're on to 14, which is, uh, you know, as you may have guessed it, the home stretch. We've only got 15 for Kennedy town. So we've got to crack this safe. And then we will move on to the last one for Kennedy Town. And then we will head on over to Aberdeen. Goddamn saves. I will not miss these. This is a tremendous game. I loved every minute of it. But boy, these safes. 
And a lot of it's because I not only had to do them, but I have to watch me do them and talk about me doing them. So I, I, I got a lot more of the safe action than most. But last one is under the bridge. You have to fight out a couple baddies, and it's kind of on the west side of Kennedy Town. And we'll go ahead and grab that bad boy. Oh, come on. Just when I think we're going to be done and move on, one more safe. So if anyone's counting, uh, I'd be curious to know how many safes there were. I did not count. I, I really don't want to go back and count because I don't want to know. That'd just be me dealing with safes even more. <laughs> no thanks. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up Sleeping Dogs lockbox locations for Kennedy Town, where we grabbed all 15 of them, and we are getting closer to that West Side Scavenger Trophy. Feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Head on over to Twitter and click that follow button as well. And, you know, as always, until next time, 